we have new information tonight on that AT&T worker who died this morning after being attacked during his overnight shift. Sayed Shabir spoke to the victim's son. He joins us live in Gladstone. Sayed. Well, Mark, 58-year-old Kevin Mashburn was found severely beaten this morning at about 3 a.m. He was rushed to the hospital but didn't make it. The Metro Squad is assisting the Gladstone Police Department in their investigation. Meanwhile, the family is waiting for justice. There's no denying Kevin Mashburn's loyalty. For the last 40 years, he worked as an overnight service technician for AT&T. While working a call this morning in Gladstone, police say he was attacked. At about 3 a.m., he was found severely beaten in his pickup truck. Cops had to break open his window to get to him, but it was too late for the father of four. If everyone had a dad like, like, like mine, like ours, then... You know, stuff like this wouldn't, wouldn't happen. I mean, he'd just be raised a little better than that. Eldest son William says his dad wouldn't hesitate to help someone out. There's no need to, to respond violently to my father. Mashburn had opportunities to work other shifts, but decided to stick with overnights. William says he just liked it. He said his dad was more concerned about staying awake than getting attacked, especially when working a call in Gladstone. I'm sure he felt that it wasn't... The area didn't pose a threat to him, but you never can tell now where that something like that's going to occur. It's been a devastating loss to all who knew him, and William says he wishes more had that privilege. I feel like my dad was newsworthy on any day, um, just for being a rock star human being. And a, 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 it's unfortunate that, that anyone's learning about him now after something like this. Now, Mashburn was also a member of local 6360 CWA Workers Union, and I'm told by the president of that union that it is working with AT&T to see if this attack could have been prevented and if any changes need to be made. Also, this is the fifth homicide in Gladstone this year, which is the highest number ever in Gladstone. We're live tonight. Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News. Well, thoughts are certainly with the Mashburn family tonight. AT&T also released a statement today. It says, Kevin Mashburn will be greatly missed by all of us at AT&T. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers go out to his family, friends, and coworkers at this time of great loss.